Yes, yeah, sir. Hey, um, Bart, Ken Johnson just called. Yep. He said that um, you've got to do an interview for him and have some awards out um, so that people know what you've done. Have awards. I've got the awards. He told me that ten times already. Yep, yep. Also, he said that um, he's going to have you do an award show for him and have some awards out there so that people know what you've done. No embarrassing stories, no... Keep it personal. Kenny! I know you probably hate it that I'm calling you Kenny in front of all your peers right now, but I can't help but to think of you as, as Kenny because we go so far back. I mean, you were the guy that gave me my first real start in, in radio. Where can I start? We can start with how many records you haven't played of ours, um, but I won't do that. Since he called my assistant to say, don't say anything embarrassing. I'm going to tell you about this great story about him in Magic City. Actually, they had locked the doors to club. No, I'm just joking. We, the members of the Living Legends, are very, very proud to honor you tonight. And believe me, we know that you deserve it because your track record speaks for itself. And one thing, one thing I can say about this guy, he lives, breathes, and eats radio. I've known Ken Johnson since his days at WILD in Boston. And there's something about program directors who come through WILD. They all move on to better things. His program directors love working with him. I think the artists appreciate what he does. When I think of Ken, I think of, um, I think of a few words. I think of professionalism. I think of integrity. I think of consistency. Ken Johnson is a radio guy. He started in radio, and as I like to say, it's nice when one of us becomes one of them. He's an executive that never thought that he would be where he is, and now that he's there, he wants to help some people. I got to interview with Ken Johnson, and my initial thought was, wow, this guy's a little intimidating. Well, I was wrong. Ken might just be the nicest guy in our industry. My first day meeting him was a little, little nerve-wracking, a little, little scary for me. Um, if you know Ken Johnson, of course you know Ken Johnson. He's a big guy. He's a really big guy. And, and, and he, I was a tiny guy, you know, and walk into this room in his studio, and he is towering over me. Um, but, you know, after sitting with him for a while and we're talking and getting to know each other, you know, he's a big guy, yeah, but he is... How can I put this? I don't want to make him seem like a soft or like a wimpy guy, but he is kind of a wimpy guy. The fact that he has no ears, no, no ears. The, the man couldn't hear a hit record if it was a freight train coming through his living room. We decided to go get something to eat, so we found a little Mexican restaurant along the beach, and, uh, and it was Ken and myself and a few people that worked at the radio station. And uh, Ken is, uh, uh, the running joke in our company has been that Ken's always been my bodyguard. And so we got to the restaurant, and, and I told Ken I had him covered. I was going to order for him. And I looked at the menu, and there was a, there was a special on the menu called the Elvis. And the Elvis was about a four-pound burrito and a slab of ribs that looked like the Fred Flintstone ribs on the top of his car. And Ken had gone to the bathroom, and I ordered the Elvis for him. And he, he came back, and the waitress was bringing the food around. And the Elvis special came, and, and the burrito was about as big as Ken's head, and the ribs were sticking out, over, running over the plate on both sides. Everybody sat for a moment, looked at Ken and said, Ken, are you going to be able to eat all that? And Ken said, as his bodyguard, I have no choice. I'm not surprised that you're being honored with this award because you're such a genuinely warm, giving, caring person. And, and you listen and you put up with me through my 20s. Lord knows how you did that. <laughs> he loves telling the story about how he beat Danny Ainge one-on-one -on -one when we were in college. This is not a... Uh, a uh, made-up Ken Johnson story, or uh, uh, this is an actual fact. I called our good friend Mark Dolphit, who we also went to college with, who couldn't be here today, uh, and Mark did confirm that Ken uh, put his ass in Mark in uh, Danny Ainge's face and um, uh, hit little backboard shots and beat him to death. I know I love the time uh, that I spend with him here in the office and almost every Saturday on the golf course. The good news for me is he's not as good a golfer as he is a programmer. Uh, and I'm luring him into taking some of that traveling money from him every week. 
I did have a unique experience with Ken. Together, we had to sort of travel the country with the other format directors and launch our new music scheduling system. And Ken and I had the unique opportunity to go to St. Lucia and Trinidad to launch our radio stations in those countries. It's a little remote, Trinidad, and I don't know if Ken was more my coworker or my bodyguard during that trip, but he took care of me and I was so glad to have him sitting next to me in the rental car, whether we were making illegal U-turns, running into boulders, or running away from the police. Mr. Johnson, I wish I could be there for you. As a member of BMI, as a person at BMI, the president of BMI, you have meant so much to the broadcasting industry and are truly a pioneer in that area. And congratulations to you. But in all seriousness, Ken, congratulations. Well done. Well deserved. You're always there. You are consistent. Nobody has higher integrity than you. Thank you for giving me the courage to, to get up and try again when this business does its best to knock you down. So congratulations on this tremendous honor and all your hard work uh, certainly has paid off. Congratulations to you. You're a dear, dear friend. Uh, it has been a very long time and uh, I am so proud that you are being honored today and I wish you the best and uh, I think you owe me uh, a dinner. So tonight, Ken, on behalf of all of us on the Board of Directors of the Living Legends Foundation, Thank you very much for being who you are, and it's a pleasure to welcome you and to be able to honor you. This is such an honor, Ken, and you deserve it. We're proud of you, and keep up the great work. He represents the best of the best. Ken, you are a living legend, and I'm glad that you are a colleague, friend of mine. Ken, congratulations. You're a great guy, and uh, we're very lucky at Cumulus to have somebody of your stature uh, working with us every single day. I'm real excited for you, bro. Um, your book is turning, it's another page, it's a new chapter, now you're a lifetime living legend, um, so you got to live up to that. This is a, a wonderful achievement, uh, heartfelt congratulations to him, well deserved, and uh, probably, probably one, of the, uh, one of the nicest men and nicest people in our industry today. By the way, something else he lived, eat and breathed when he wasn't doing radio, um, he kind of dated around when he was in Boston. Dated around, had a, had a few girlfriends here and there. So, as a surprise for your living legends, I have some kids here. And these kids have one thing they would like to say to you. Congratulations. <laughs>